Did you dress in red for a purpose? <laughs> no, it's orange. Hey, it matches the season. Fall, orange. Okay. All right. This morning, uh, I am going to show y'all something. It's called a, let me see if I can find the name of it, barbecue pork roast. Now, I got this at Aldi's. It already has the uh, seasonings in it, and it's a two and a, but let me tell y'all, it is a two and a half pound pork roast, Turn and it was, it was only two dollars, and it's almost faded because mm -hmm. I've had it in the freezer. It was only two dollars and thirty nine cent a pound, mm -hmm. and this two and a half pound roast I got for six dollars. Mm -hmm. sure. So. I have been wanting to cook it for a couple of days because I knew it was in there and I've been craving it. So uh, I took it out last night, put it in the refrigerator and thawed it out. Now, it already has all the seasonings in it. And I'm going to read you the directions. It says, uh, preheat your oven to 370, uh, 325, excuse me, 325. You place your roast in an oven-proof uh container an oven proof bowl and you cook it for two and a half to three hours where the internal temperature is at least 160 degrees but i'll cook mine to like 165 or 70 because that's just the way i like my pork now that's just for your roast where you're going to slice it and uh and serve it sliced if you're going to use it for barbecue you cook it until your internal temperature is um, 195 degrees. That's another hour to hour and a half cooking time, but it's where you can just pull it apart. But I think I'm going to do mine probably in between that. I'll probably cook mine about, it's already quarter till 10. I'll probably cook mine about three hours, and it's on... Uh, 325 and i'm fixing to take it out of the take it out of the package here and uh my hands are clean so all right but you can see it's been sitting in this seasoning i don't want to get it on my table so i'm being real careful i'm going to show you the front of the package Okay, this is what it looks like. It is a boneless pork shoulder roast with barbecue seasoning. They have them there just about all the time. Mm -hmm. at yeah, Aldi's. at Aldi's. They do. And so this one's been in the freezer probably a month or so. And I just have been doing other things and I haven't cooked it. So it's well marinated, isn't it? It's well marinated, yes. I'm excited because I cooked one of these probably, I don't know, three or four months ago, and we loved it so good. Now, you cover it when you put it in the oven. You cook it in a covered dish. That keeps all of your heat inside of this dish, and it cooks faster. So, my oven is heated to 325. I'm going to set my timer for uh, three hours. And, uh, well, I'll do that when I come off camera. But I'm going to set my timer for three hours, and then I think it's going to be uh, tender enough, as tender as I want it, because I'm not going to use it for pulled pork. I'm just going to use it for a pork roast. So uh, I'm going to come back later and show you how I'm cooking some butter beans with that, and Promise is coming. We're fixing to go get her. So she's been wanting some pasta salad. So I'll either do pasta salad or mac and cheese. She loves mac and cheese. One of the two to go with the butter beans and the roast. So uh, we will be back uh, as soon as this cooks a little while and when I start to cook my other vegetables. So we'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay, our meat has cooked until it's 180 degrees internally and it took two and a half hours. And it's absolutely... Promise tasted of it just a little bit ago, and it's it's a little spicy, but it's so good. I'm going to cut a little piece. Oh my, how tender! Look at that. Oh, that is so tender. Matter of fact, it's gonna pull apart almost. All right, I'm gonna put that on her plate. I'm gonna cut another piece here. 
Oh my. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, look at that promise. You don't want that fat. So I'm going to take the fat piece off the of promise. Granddaddy will eat that. Okay. I'm going to cut this one. So it will be in a slice for her. All right. And I'm going to cut her another piece. You need a really sharp knife for this. Oh, how pretty. Is it okay to like cover the mic? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, because the mic's right here. Yeah, so that's just the reset. Okay, all right. Now that is really that's done. It's really a uh, pretty meat. Now this is a uh, G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce. And if I've told y'all before, I always date my uh, things when I put them in the pantry. That way, I know uh which ones to use first so i always date everything i put in my pantry and this is their carolina gold they've got original they've got carolina gold they've got honey mustard they've got uh another one i forget oh they got teriyaki but i really love their carolina gold so i'm just gonna put a little bit of that over this for promise because she loves the barbecue sauce okay now this is the way promise is going to eat hers and this is her plate right here and i need to get a cloth and i'm going to clean it up a little bit so it'll be pretty okay now you ever need somebody on your corn toss <laughs> <laughs> Promise and I have been been playing uh, bean toss or cornhole or whatever outside because it's beautiful here today. As <laughs> I and I beat her three times, but she beat me two times. So, but anyway, this is going to be our lunch, and I've got some quinoa. I don't know that Promise likes quinoa, but I'm going to taste of this for y'all. Here's a little piece right here. Hmm. Hmm. That, oh, here's a little piece. I'm going to taste it, y'all, and taste of it and tell y'all how it tastes. Mmm, that is so good. So if you're ever at Aldi's, and that is a, <clears throat> it is just a little bit spicy, especially around the edges, <clears throat> but when you cut down into it, that spice doesn't go all the way through it. So if you're at, ever at Aldi's, get one of these they're really worth the money it's a two and a half pound uh piece of meat and it's boneless it's all lean meat with a little bit of fat around the edges but it's absolutely delicious so thank you all for joining me today and subscribe to my channel hit that little notification bell and y'all buy one of these next time you go to aldi's love y'all see you next time